Welcome back to another Tekken 8 character episode playthrough. We're now on Brian Fury. He is a professional kickboxer. Say kickboxing. I just wanted to do a SpongeBob reference. He's from the United States. He weighs 186. Oh, I'm sorry. That's centimeters. At least I hope I'm saying that right. He's his height. And he weighs 87 kilograms. So far, he is the heaviest character we have gotten to. Which is kind of crazy because I still think this character who's made out of metal and machinery. It's weird. Brian Fury. Let's go. A replicant containing a perpetual motion machine. Brian Fury is a berserker who stops at nothing to get what he wants. Having rampaged across the world's battlefields, the recent dearth of large-scale combat left the Replicant yearning for such savage thrills. While searching for a new challenge, Brian heard of the King of Iron Fist tournament to select the new head of the Mishima Zaibatsu. Brian rushed to join the fray, seeing the tournament as the perfect opportunity to realize his goal, a world dominated by violence. <laughs> Welcome to the Street Fighter Cross Tekken, like the only game that actually has Brian saying full on sentences and not just friggin' laughing. <laughs> Brian, <laughs> Brian and Law. I was kind of hoping Law would say, what's so funny? Anyway, Brian, I actually, again, cross Tekken. Played him a lot because I loved his super in that. And yes, I do love his evil laugh. DDT! Sorry, I get hyped when I see wrestling moves just like this. That, my friends, is called a TKO. But you can also call it a fireman's carry into an RKO. But that is technically called a TKO. Oh god. I believe Nikki Bella started to use it, calling it the rack attack, which is hilarious. <laughs> Brian Fury with them Superman punches, son. From out of nowhere. No wait, that's Injustice 2's uh one of their best uh <laughs> trophies achievements. That's what Bane doing the RKO and it's called from out of nowhere. Get ready for the wow, we just take it on uh, Law, now we take it on Paul. How'd you get that into the arena? Yes! <laughs> yes sir. Fight. Let's go. Oh god, Paul with that super armor. No match for my super punch! Let's see what Brian has for uh, for this. This is, uh, I was about to say, this is kind of lame. Again, those of you just joining, I'm only doing this on easy mode to get to the character episodes and to see the endings and whatnot. Not for skill. Okay? If you want to see somewhat skill, <laughs> uh, maybe. If I get enough requests, I'll try to do like a, a playthrough on hard of like the actual arcade mode with probably my best character. Uh, I know I saw Paul's legs there, but it just made it look like he was just punching the floor a lot. How do these people keep getting motorcycles into the arena? <laughs> and where the hell do these motorcycles... Well, I'm one to talk. Brian, we just saw he had a friggin' Gatling gun. At the last... the end of the uh, fight there with martial law. <laughs> DDT! Actually, let me double... Is that a DDT or is that just a headlock takeover? It's a DDT, okay. So I thought he released it before... How Ryan or whoever the character is hits the ground. Stop, stop, stop! 
No, let me do the cool, uh, the cool thing. Wait, does everybody have that? No. Some animations are different. So far we've had three different victory animations with Brian. That's great. Oh, that poor cameraman. Dragging off just like, get that damn camera out of my face. As I try my best. That was, that was awesome how we traded those. I'm not going to lie. Does Tekken 8... <clears throat> Excuse me, again. I think it's very stuffy in here. Does Tekken 8 have the, um... That slow-mo... Thing that it was like in Tekken 7 when both characters go for a move and it does like that close-up slow-motion thing? It probably does, I just... Like I said, I've avoided a lot of videos to not get spoiled on this. Because, um... Games nowadays, they'll... they'll like with a bunch of their trails will just spoil everything. You win. Oh, that's a repeat victory animation. And now. Who's his final opponent? The final! Is it Jack Eight? Get ready oh, Yoshimitsu. Cool, cool. Why can't we get more intros like that, dude? Like, we got it with the Jack Aiden. What's her name? Alicia. We got this badass intro, Brian. Again, how do people get Gatling guns and motorcycles into this arena? And Yoshimitsu just deflecting these giant ass bullets to teleport into the air. Which, by the way, that's a fence. So, half this crowd is practically dead. <laughs> Because Gatling gun bullets destroy a lot of things in their wake. And Brian Fury literally just killed half this crowd while Yoshimitsu was like, No, F these people, dude. Uh, it's always fun trying to bring some kind of logic to a, <laughs> a video game that you're just not supposed to bring any logic to. Alright. Brian's ending. Let's see it. You are the champion! So we went from Mad Max Fury Road to Brian Fury Fury Mode. I get it. It's a Mad Max tribute. That's, that was kind of neat. Of course, Martial Law being the butt of the joke there. <laughs> was that Brian that said, EXCITING? <laughs> because, yeah, maybe he shouldn't talk. Maybe, he, again, like I said, he actually had a cool voice in Cross Tech in there. Anyway, Brian Fury is in the books. Four characters down. I forget how many characters are in the game. Next up, Claudio Serafino, is that how you say his name? It is Claudio Castanoli, I mean Claudio from Tekken 8. My name is Clint Carvata, thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for Claudio.